Hello, welcome to another cooking session with Mama T. Today we're doing turkey burgers and I've already started my bowl mixture with one pound of brown turkey, one small onion and a quarter of a green pepper diced up. And this right here is a teaspoon of parsley and two um, tablespoons of breadcrumbs. I have one egg, slightly beaten, pretty much all the way beaten. I have one teaspoon of garlic salt and one teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning, Mama T's again. One teaspoon of coarse black pepper. I like the coarse, and this is my favorite. I have two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. And we're gonna mix all of these ingredients together. <laughs> this is really different for me because most people when we make hamburger, we make ground beef using mixing it with our hands. So this is not too bad. And it's all Mix well. And then we're going to pack them up in our burgers and add them to our cast iron pan, which is preheating. Okay, they've been padded up and I cook the turkey burgers similar to the way I cook my hamburgers with a little piece of butter in the inside of each burger. And I like to use my cast iron. I just think it cooks a little bit better. And they have been safely added to the pan. And we have the heat on medium to high. And they're gonna cook them right along. Okay. I'm ready to get nice and Brown. <laughs> a little more brown than I like them, but I baby like it, so that's fine. And they don't take long. I am going to reduce the heat a little bit. On my regular skillet, I probably would leave it in medium high, but once the um, cast iron skillet gets hot, it just goes on its own. So these look really good. And we should be back shortly with the finished product. And I only have three left to go. So we should be back shortly. Woo! Another quick meal with Mama T. As you can see, our burgers are done. We're on the last three burgers. So it looks like one pound cooks about seven medium-sized burgers. And I like the addition of the butter in the inside because it kept it from drying out and from sticking. Thank you for joining us. You can top your burgers with provolone cheese, regular cheese, no cheese at all. You can add gravy to them. They're very versatile. Thank you for joining us and stay tuned for our next episode.